Hey everyone. So in the last video I talked about Bootstrap. I briefly introduced it and gave you an overview of it. And in this video I want to briefly give you an overview of the grid system in Bootstrap. So the grid system in Bootstrap is for organizing your page. So if you want a certain component or an image or text to go in a certain spot on the page, you'd use the grid system to get that into the part of the page that you want. So it does this by having a virtual grid of 12 columns set up that you would then use to specify how many columns you want your content to take up. So for instance, if you wanted three columns on your page, then you could simply create three bootstrap columns that take up four spaces on the virtual grid in Bootstrap. So it would make more sense once I do it. So let me just jump right into writing the code for it. So I have this empty HTML file that has Bootstrap loaded along with jQuery and uh, the Bootstrap JavaScript. So the first thing you need when you're working with the grid system is a container. So there are two types of containers. Uh, one is for fixed width and one is for fluid. I'm only gonna focus on the fixed width in this video because um, the fluid and responsive stuff would be a little more difficult to demonstrate because I only have a regular browser. But just know that Bootstrap is capable of handling um, responsive design. So if you view your site from a phone or a desktop, it can accommodate both of those if you write the appropriate uh, code. So first let me create this container. And this is the fixed variety. And then let me close it. So in addition to columns, Bootstrap has rows. For this video, I'll only demonstrate a couple of rows. So I'll create two rows and the class is simply row. So the container is needed to tell Bootstrap that we want a grid there. And these rows are just telling Bootstrap that we want two rows in the grid. So for the first row, I'm going to create two columns. I want these columns to be six grid columns wide. So to do that, I'll create more divs, and in Bootstrap you'll uh, get very comfortable writing div statement or div tags. The class is going to be call the size that you want. In this case, I want medium, and then the number of grid columns that you want to take up. In my case, six. So I'll do that twice, so I get two. All right, so there are different options for sizes. There's extra small, small, medium, and large, and that depends on the screen size. So if you're working with phones or you're interested in having your site work on phones, then you'd use the XS uh, prefix. If you're working on a very large screen, then LG. In practice, you'll probably use a couple of these. Um, and like I said, I won't demonstrate all of them because of just having um, being limited and showing you responsive design. I mean, I can make my browser smaller, but I don't think that's the best way to show it. So I'll only be working with this medium device one, so MD for my columns. So for these two, I'll put in a couple of images. And let me just get the image source here so it all kind of fits together. So I already have an image of a cat. So I'll add that in both. Now let me refresh. And now I see I have the cat shown here. and. I have two columns. I have a column starting here, and then I have a column starting here. And the the sum of these two is the entire width of the page. So for my second row, I want to make one column, and I want it to be in the center, and I want it to be smaller. So what I'll do is I'll create a class of MD4, so it's smaller than the sixes up here. But in addition to being four, I want it offset. So I don't want it to start from the beginning. I don't want it to start on the left-hand side here. I want it to start 
uh, four columns in the grid in. So I have to add another class. So call MD offset four. And then I'll add the same image inside of that column. And then let me refresh. So you see how I have a smaller column here. So I end up with a smaller picture of the cat. And it's starting somewhere towards the middle. So it's skipping the first four columns of the grid, starting at the fifth column, going to the eighth column, and then there's nothing for the ninth, tenth, and eleventh. 11th and 12th columns. So that's a very, very simple example that I've just demonstrated for you, but you should be able to scale this out if you just really think about what's going on. Just think about how any website is set up and imagine it as a grid. Imagine the different parts of the page being in one particular cell or cells in this grid and then you can see how Bootstrap will help you out. Uh, there are are plenty of sites out there with bootstrap themes so if you need inspiration on how to use bootstrap I would recommend going that route but uh, I think this is enough to get you started so just go to getbootstrap.com to get the uh, to look at the documents um, they're all very clear and bootstrap is so simple to use uh, so I don't think you'd have any trouble getting used to it if you already know HTML so that's it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll try to answer them. And finally, if you like my channel, please subscribe. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow.